everyone, welcome back to another video with me, Lord Strider. I've just seen I have eight minutes of recording time left on my phone, so I need to sort that out. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a video for you. I'm not actually looking at the camera. Ah, oh, now I am. And uh, it's going to be a bit of a different one, obviously D&D related, as they have all been. But um, today, I am painting a mini. And I've been going for about 20 minutes, and I just realized this is a content opportunity. <laughs> so I am going to be recording that for you today and uh, we'll see what you think of the finished product. I'll put on the screen now what he looked like when I bought him, and uh, I'll show you what he looks like now. I, I don't worry about the monkey in the back and the slap merch. Uh, but yeah, right, this is the partially painted Diane Tull. Uh, this is one of the bad guys from my game of D&D that I run. Uh, as you can see, he is very partially painted at the moment. You got the wisps on his back. Uh, I am going to be going through this. I'm gonna try and crack it all out today, but I am not entirely sure if I will fully be able to, but I am see if I can set up a time lapse for you guys and uh, get this whole shebang recorded. Uh, I stopped looking at the camera again, <laughs> but yeah. I uh, hope you enjoy. If you do, do all of that good stuff, like subscribe, share, stuff. Okay, get on to the painting, yay. Ah, painting, painting, test painting, painting. Okay, I'll do painting, painting. All right, it has been about two hours since I started and the base coat is done. Uh, let's, as you can see, get it to focus. Uh, he is completely in shadow. Uh, I'm gonna now do a bit of the highlights and stuff. You can see his face there. Gloria, glorious as ever, wow. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it like that with the little bits of uh, gray peeking through just to show the eyes. This obviously isn't 100% accurate to what he looks like, but um, yeah, this is Diane Tull in his base state. I'm now gonna do the nails, I'm gonna do the mouth and the teeth, and then the hooves. And uh, that'll just leave, if we give him a little turn around, these wisps of shadow behind him to do, which I'm gonna put a black shadow wash over and then the base itself. So let's get on with it and, and do it. Yeah.
and I think he is complete. Last thing to do will be stick him down on the base, and I'm going to do that in probably an hour or so, but I've been working now for a solid three hours on him, and I believe he is done. Let's have a look. So, we have, from the top, the black on all of his body, showing his demigod of shadow status. Then coming in on the face, you can see the red of the inside of his mouth. It's not focusing very well. That's better. And uh, going down, you can see I've used some brush strokes, which will give him a few scars and jagged edges across his body. Then coming to his hands, you can see we've got the red drips on the end because he has definitely just murdered someone. Uh, <laughs> continuing down, we've got the legs from the front and then going onto the hooves with the brown wash over the top of the black paint there. Then for the base, the base, uh, I'm not sure if you saw, but my father popped in for the end there and uh, gave me a very cool trick on how to make this look amazing. And as you can tell, it looks a brilliant. Got the blood from his hand on the floor there. And it's the same on the other side. Let's give him a quick turn around. So you can see the shadow on the back. This part was quite interesting. Uh, wash is quite difficult to use, I learned. So um, as you can see, it's a bit sort of jaggedy on the uh, blackness of the shadow, but I, I quite like it, to be honest. So uh, I'm pretty pleased overall. I will now pass you back to Henry upstairs. Oh, the dog is barking. <laughs> the dog is barking. But I'll pass you back to Henry upstairs for the outro and for the pictures of him when he's finished. D Dubai. Time's out, I'm not upstairs. I am in fact downstairs still, but it has been a day. The glue has set and it is ready for me to show off and handle freely. So let me let me show you guys. So as you can see, we have the finished product. You can see me in the background, hello. Uh, there he is, all glued down. Everything will work in properly. It is, uh, ah. I'm so excited, honestly. I'm using him in two days time for me, uh, probably same day as this video is gonna come out. To give a bit of a comparison, let's bring Theodore over. Loki, Loki, come here. He does he's not having it, he's not having it. Alright, to give a bit of a comparison, you can see there's Theodore, who is in the game about 8 feet tall, and then the 16 foot tall behemoth that is Diane. Uh, yeah. All very cool, all very impressive. Uh, I'm gonna do an actual outro now, probably somewhere else, but yeah. That's the minis, all done, yay! And there you have it, we're all done. That is, uh, the video complete. I've gone back up here now, just for another angle, and there we go. Oh, turn them the right way. The completed pair, the villains of my D&D campaign. Who could ask for a better pair of brothers, honestly? But um, yes, thank you very much for tuning into the video. Uh, it's been a pleasure to make, and I hope it was enjoyable to watch. I hope you enjoyed the lore elements. I, I threw that in there just because I was, I, was, I was just wondering how it would go down. But um, yeah, that's what I really wanted to say. Thank you so much, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.